2017, they gave us great sets, outstanding sets in Smash 4. While some remain legendary and outstanding to outshine the others, I have my 5 personal favorites of 2017. Keep in mind that this is not a top 5 so this is actually not in order. But if you want, you can list your 5 favorite sets of 2017 in the comment section below. And with that in mind, let's start with the first one. To some, this may be considered biased, but uh, let's be honest, <laughs> it is. I have really high opinion about Gluttony, so it's obvious that he would be on my list. Gluttony versus Fatality. It's not going to be fast paced as maybe Fox versus Captain Falcon, but it's a very, very interesting set indeed. Now, Gluttony won versus Fatality beforehand on the winner's finals, and that set took five games, and grand finals is actually no different. But I do believe the grand finals of that tournament is actually a bit better in my opinion because Gluttony seals the deal versus Fatality in that tournament, beating him twice. Oh, he's gonna, these double jumps are so scary. Fatality is scouting them, every one of them trying to punish one of these landings with a strong back here. Uh -oh. Finally, gets this poke. Uh oh. Oh, the Frisé! Frisé has him. Nice, nice bike right now, pushing him. Maybe the oh, landing. No. Bad. No. Oh no. Red Dot Roll yeah. couldn't get the forward chip. And that's it! That's it! Dark it! On that dash! Wake! Turn back! On oh, that turn around! Yeah. And get the back here! Fatality get that shot! This is the end! 3 2! Fatality took it! Two victory in a row on Fatality! The only one that beat Fatality at that tournament at Mars! At Mars 2017! The only one! Now for the second clip, we have Isam versus the Buzz at Smash Adelphia. Isam won over the Buzz at Winners Finals, and then they meet again in Grand Finals. The Buzz actually reset the bracket with Isam on his last stock. He made a shocking comeback. It's out of here, at least for now. Isam with the grab. What are we that doing? No way! Thunder. No way! Not oh enough my. for the Rage KO. Isam protecting the stage. The, the game crowd is on his side as well. 144 on Isam, 96 on the buzz. They are both at KO percent. Yeah, Luma is back. Isam playing this wonderful. Be careful, don't go. And, and Luma is gone. Luma is gone. Quick attack back onto the stage. What a pressure situation. Isam with the down throw. Will he go for Thunder? No, he will not. Covering the landing here. The buzz. Trying to find a way back down to the ground. Pikachu back here will connect. Luma is back. Luma is on life. There's neutral air will connect. Not enough for the KO. No way. The high reach. Oh my god. The D Sam popping off. For the third set, is going to be another grand finals. More specifically, Nairo versus Zero at SmashCon this year. Nairo was in losers of grand finals. He beat Zero to get the reset and then he beat him again. Something that only few Smash players can ever do that in Smash 4. Nairo, can you do it? Another year in a row! Nairo! Oh, he's not gonna throw oh, oh, oh. it! Run back! Alright, the camera. Oh, we're back again! Oh, yes. It is, done. It, got done. it is done! The cameraman pulled it a little too soon right there, just like Nairo tried to hedge his back. But if you're better than Nairo, god damn it, you're looking pretty rich! This might be surprising to you all, but this Loser's Finals Mewtwo vs Fatality was actually great. This set really show us that Mewtwo King can really hang out with the top dogs in Smash 4. Hopefully this upcoming year, we get to see more Mewtwo King in Smash 4. And this reminds me, oh yeah, he was number one in Florida this one time. Fatality, Falcon with all that killing power definitely can bring this back. Not out of this yet. Yeah, Mewtwo King getting that kill without having to use Limit, though. It's going to be a big possibility for him. Lots of damage. Right. And he is already taking... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. Out. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Right here. And, and there's it. the kill! And Whoa! Mewtwo King taking what a quick out game. Fatality. Wow, working his way all the way back through after losing to Sunito in uh, Winner's Quarters. Fatality really getting a, a taste of his own medicine there. Yeah. Uh, less than a minute long that game. That was incredible for Michi King, showing how aggressive he can really get with Cloud. Right. When talking about Civil War, people would think T versus Fatality, Fatality versus Nairo, Zero versus Latai. 
while they are outstanding sets, I feel like people forget one set in particular and it's Foe vs Larry Lur at Civil War. While this was early in bracket, this was a great set either way. And Foe is one of my favorite players as well. He's gonna have to get onto the stage. He tried to- Oh my goodness. He stalled it! Whiffed. He stalled it! He waited so long to come back up that he had so much time. And then I think he went a little bit to the left. He's getting so combo. much damage off of this aerial combo! Larry's already at 65! And when Ness gets that damage up and up on your second side, that might just do it! He's off! He's, dead. He's off the top! That's it! The up throw! He knew not to go for the back throw because he knew there was too much distance. I think Larry might have been DIing for the back throw instead, and he goes straight up. Larry Lur is now in loser's bracket! Obviously, there are dozens and dozens of great sets in 2017, but I would like to know yours, so if you like, put them in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Stay safe, and have a gassy New Year's.